Hello and welcome to your daily dose of Satoshi's news. Today's day is Monday the 1st of April 2024, the year of a million transactions per second or more, that's no joke. Take custody of your digital assets today at rockwallet.com, including Bitcoin SV, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Let's get into it. So um, I'm just going to go over this because I need to get this off my chest. This has been bugging me. Um, so um, the point that I'm trying to make is I now suspect that Craig um, purposely threw this court case because a as we all know, if the judge had said, yes, indeed, you are Satoshi Nakamoto, I mean, jeepers. Um, yeah, BTC that that scam coin is now is now a, a trillion dollar scam. It's a trillion dollar scam. It is massive. Uh, in fact, the entire crypto market is a complete psyop away from Bitcoin, and that is now a two point six trillion dollar scam. You know, it's it's a it and like for the judge to suddenly turn around and go, uh, yes, you are Satoshi Nakamoto. I personally think. That would have put both the judge and Craig's life in danger. That is my personal opinion on that matter. And I suspect that Craig knew that and figured that out for himself and has thrown the case. And the reason I suspect that is because of this comment that he wrote in Evidence and Law back in 2019. When he said here specifically, Bitcoin was birthed using a credit card payment. The records of the same payment are required to be kept by the bank system for 25 years. It hasn't been that long. More importantly, I claimed the expenses on my tax in the 2008-2009 tax year. You see, a domain purchase in August 2008 is within the Australian tax year, but I was audited, which ended up going to court. Uh, and then he also continued here. Uh, this is the source of VistaMail and the registration of the domain, Bitcoin.org. Uh, what you don't realize yet is that I use my credit card. Yes, as crazy as it might seem to you, I use my credit card to purchase anonymous services. I even claimed it on my tax. I had an argument with the tax office in Australia about claiming it. Now, that is irrefutable evidence. That's irrefutable evidence. And... Personally, I think in the same way that he was initially intending on using the Tulip Trust as Bitcoin's insurance policy to just simply flip the value of the market back into BSV, I honestly think that this was his plan. I honestly think that he was just simply going to show the receipt for the purchase of the domain name, back it up with the bank, uh, and that's it. would have been game over. But nobody could have foreseen the level of corruption uh within this market space. I mean, I mean, literally, we've got, what, over 30,000 shitcoins listed? 30,000 shitcoins. Um, you know, and, and tens coming on every day, all ERC20 tokens and all that crap. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I actually think that Craig threw the case. And it doesn't, well, it shouldn't really matter to anybody in BSV because, well, um, we're not placing bets or anything because, like Craig said... Uh, him moving a coin or being Satoshi would just simply be uh, pr probably one of the, the biggest pumps and dumps in history. That's it, because it's it's a trader's dream of finding this out you know, before it gets announced. But the market's just too big and it's, it's too it's too dangerous um, to, to, ha to have that responsibility uh, on the shoulders of one or two individuals. You know, a judge saying, yes, you are Satoshi Nakamoto and, and Craig proving that he is. It is just it's just too dangerous. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to cover that quickly. That's a quick four-minute show. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.